Good evening, everyone. This is Lena. Uh, welcome to our talk show of 96 Victim Night Films. I'm very happy to be here today with my special guest to talk about our 2018 film projects and to discuss about the subjects of Agent Orange. Uh, my honor to be here um, with, from my right side, uh, Anna Ling Prince. Uh, she is my producer and she is also my daughter. I'm very proud of her. <laughs> Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. Love you, wife. And on my left side is Mr. Weifind, a professor from Chapman University. And he is my great friend and he is also an amazing film director, a music composer, and a sound expert. My honor to be here with you today to uh, discuss about the Agent Orange subject. Thank you so much. I'm so pleased to be here. Thank you very much, Roy. Um, I, I had a chance to, to watch the film the other day. and um, Thank you. Thank I you very much. I found it extremely powerful and moving. I had, had some questions and some things that I wanted to ask you about. The first one is the title of the piece uh, of the film is called yes. Inside This Piece. And what was the reason why? What inspired you to name your documentary Inside This Piece? First, I just follow the dictionary where peace uh, is defined as freedom from the cessation of war and violence. And peace in our documentary, it is like um, the daily life after the war. Mm. And it's just like the remain of the war uh, that we have to face to in the present. Mm -hmm. um, you're the, the, the main um, person in your film. Yeah. Uh, Toi, who is, uh, who is she and how did you first meet her? I first met her uh, when I was only 13 years old. We were heading to a um, charity performance mm -hmm. under the Club of Love by Tung Vi, singer. And that's how we met. We gathered together and, you know, to perform uh, for charity. That the first time we met, and I was sitting right next to her, and, and you know, the hair, the it's very sharp hair from her fingers in my arm when she, she moved her arm to the armrest right next to mine. Mm. And um, at that moment, mm. I, I felt, you know, the, um, the pain from, from the hair in my arms, but at the same time, I felt, you know, her deepest pain. Um, and that's one of the reasons that I want to, uh, to make the documentary about her, and I want to, uh, to do something for her and you know people like her um, so they can have you know better chances in life and you know like uh, agent orange victims like Toa is always at the hand of bullies discrimination mm -hmm. and so and I think Toa knows that she is different because when she go to school and that would be the problem there because other kids, they're gonna make fun of her. Mm. And that's the reason she dropped out from school and then she stay home. She don't want to be, be you know, like other people hurt her when she's there. So she stay home and her mom taught her to read and write at home. And that's how life go for her. And then later on when she was eight years old, her mom and her parents sent her to the Peace Village to study and stay there, you know, with the uh, other children who have the same situations. Yeah, and um, mention about Agent Orange. Can you like explain for the audience to know more about it? The Agent Orange. Oh, Agent Orange. So, um, yeah, I believe there's a lot of our audience out there don't have a chance to uh, to know what Agent Orange is. Mm -hmm. True. So I think uh, basically, uh, Agent Orange is. Um, is a name given to herbicide uh, containing most toxic dioxin mm -hmm. and developed it to kill weeds 
in the 1940s, um, Agent Orange was thought to be an effective military aid during the Vietnam War. And the use of Agent Orange is to eliminate the large amount of vegetation that could be used for the army to hide in. Mm -hmm. And according to the VA side, Agent Orange uh, was sprayed from 1965 to 1970. Like a, it's chemical warfare that was being disguised because uh, chemical warfare had been outlawed, but it was sort of being disguised as an, uh, a defoliant, or right, uh, which is why I think your documentary is so significant. Um, I think it so really much. does have a chance to reach a lot of people and to continue and widen uh, the discussion yes. and uh, increase the awareness of what took place. So you were traveling with your mother for yes. the entire time that you were shooting? Yes, yeah. I How long did. was that for? It was a month. And had you known uh, Toa before you went over there this time? I heard about Toa, like um, my mom told me about her. Yes. But since only when we made the documentary in Vietnam and I have a chance to meet her meet and her talk personally. to her. But this is sort of your first film that you've co-produced with your mother? That's right. Uh, and did you like the experience? I love it. I feel very lucky to have this experience with my mom and also with an orange, um, Asian orange victim. Yes. Yeah, it's, she's an amazing person. And yes. it's very lucky to meet her yeah. and to have a chance to talk and share with her. Mm -hmm. you know. Was this the first time that you had met her when you were shooting the documentary? That's correct, yes. Uh -huh. That's the first time I met her. And there's uh, probably uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds of, of individuals who are in this very same... So much people out there. Including yeah. um, in Vietnam, Vietnam and veterans and, and the American United States. Yeah, 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 here too. Is it, how do you yes. think about that, Anna? Yes, well, you know, I think it's for so many decades and it's caused so much blood, sweat, and tears among Vietnamese and American veterans communities to get to the point in last year, only last year, yeah. 2017, where How sad. so <laughs> many disease were finally presumed to be caused by Agent Orange. As I know, the list now include prostate cancer, um, yeah. Manhodgkin lymphoma, mm -hmm and even Parkinson disease yeah. and ischemic heart disease. This is something that truly um, unites both countries yeah. together, yeah. right? It's something that both countries need to address yeah. together. Yeah, that's right. Um, and I think that your documentary is a step forward in that. I really do. Thank mm. you. Lena, so we've been working on this documentaries for years and yeah. we, um, I know that you work your heart out. Thank you. Yeah, and I know that you work hard like that is because you want good things to happen to people who need help. And I want to know, and I guess the audience want to know, what is your expectation for the film? Um, well, thank you for asking. <laughs> uh, yes, expectations. Um, yeah, there's always expectations in life, isn't it? Uh, but I mean, you know what, Anna and Roy, I, I'm not gonna let them um, limit a film for me if, before I even make it. I want to do it for my friend, mm -hmm. for uh, her family, for people, you know, the forgotten victims of mm -hmm. Agent Orange. We'd hope that, you know, like by telling their life story, that we could bring out, you know, more chances. Mm -hmm in life for them, mm -hmm. and I think that's all that matters to me. I have no expectation here. When you started to become a filmmaker, was this something that you thought eventually you would want to do when you started learning uh, you know, being on the other side of the camera. And, oh, that's and my first thought. Yeah. I don't want to be in the front of it ever. 
but for some reason, people just pull me in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But I well, hate it. I think we know the reason. Seriously, reasons. I want to stay behind really? it. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the documentary is a very interesting blend because it also gives us a sense of the environment and um, the city, and th there's besides you know the uh, person besides Toi and her struggle and her hopes and uh, what she's going through and how sort of a, showing how brave she is. Yeah. We also get a sense of of her environment as well. Yeah. And I think that there's a nice balance there. Um, th and um, there's a moment uh, near the end where you know you had talked about her her skin, where you we sort of see her in a very vulnerable way, which I found extremely moving and uh, very yeah. powerful filmmaking. Thank you um, very and, and much. In a way, the documentary that. kind of leads to that one moment, I felt, yeah. um, because we get to know her very slowly. And uh, she's very brave. She's a very brave she person is. to continue. She is a very yeah. brave person. Um, certainly giving some recognition to what she's going through and to, as I said, broaden the discussion and shed more light on it because it's something that definitely needs to take place. I really appreciate You're that. You're a brave filmmaker. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she is. She is. <laughs> uh, I, just, I just think that, you know, life too short. And if we should do something, mm. we, we should do things that, you know, for changing lives, mm -hmm. uh, not for ourselves. One of the main reasons why you're part of uh, this film company is to be able to continue to create as um, a filmmaker? Definitely, definitely, because I love making films and, uh, and that's the meaning of my life. Mm -hmm. Beside Anna and Mary, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. and I want to stick with it as long as I can. That's why I, I have my own company, and not for myself, but for anyone, for, for everyone who mm -hmm. love filmmaking and join in, join in my dream. Mm -hmm. And we will be there together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how, and that's how I do it. Nice. <laughs>
actually we want to to um, discuss so much more about these subjects but maybe I think time's up yes and maybe we should just like temporarily stop everything right here um, so if you want to know more details or information about the documentary and our company you can go to our website 9669films.com uh, to get more news and information about the documentary and uh, uh, the company as well and yes you can order the DVD from our website later on when we release it and you can also buy the film on Amazon later on and once we get your order we will send the DVD right now for you. Have a wonderful evening and we will see you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lena. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Tired? <laughs> yes. I appreciate it.